Well, hello everybody, we're seeing the whole universe, hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and today we're going to talk about my journey of learning Spanish language and what have I learned from my studying progress. I have been learning Eng English for three years and <laughs> Spanish for three months and uh, my way of learning Spanish is I took Russian words and translate them into Spanish. I mean that I use Google Translate, okay? I log in, then write something in Russian, like how to write a book about romantic things, how to write a book about mysterious things. My examples of romantic relationships, book and uh, things of this nature, how to write a music on the specific topic, how to be productive and something like this. And I translated to Spanish language and then I took the Spanish words and speak it from my heart. Uh, I sometimes read it, sometimes I speak Speak. And through this reading speaking, sometimes I remember, memorize and learn new words inside of my head and I kind of can say Hola, como estas? Estoy muy bien, me amo Igor de Rusia y something like this at this beginning of my talk and I, do, I don't want to say that I'm kind of God of the Spanish right now yet and uh, I, <laughs> I, I'm not really nice in Spanish now in a meaning of society but in if I will continue, I will be great. But today's talk not about how I do this process, but what have I learned? Except, except of the fact that I learned a little bit of Spanish. I mean that you understand that I learned a little bit of words, phrases. By the way, right now I'm at home not alone and I'm not super focused when somebody is uh, here and uh, producing sounds. You maybe are familiar with this. I talked about it a lot on my channel that I kind of uh, do... <laughs> I'm so focused on things because I'm so empathetical to people and kind of can relate to any sounds that are produced around me. And it is a good thing that I'm emp empathetical, by the way. And some uh, disadvantages sometimes, but I uh, <laughs> use more uh, advantages. Okay, about uh, about uh, Spanish. Yes, we know that I learned more new words. I learned new phrases. I learned new sentences. How they produced some kind of how to ask questions in Spanish and how to do things in Spanish. I don't know how to say it. Spanish or Spanish? I think that Spanish. Yes, Spanish will be better sound. Yes, Espanol. Yes, and <laughs> something like this. And I learned words from it. But also what I learned through this, I was writing in Russian before I was doing translating. I was writing in Russian and I have more understanding of the topic. When you create translation in a Russian language, for you it will be maybe English, you are an Englishman and you want to create a video to, to kind of, to bring value to your audience and also to learn your language one more, maybe Spanish, maybe Indonesian, maybe Deutschland, German, yes, or maybe it will be Lithuanian language. And you start writing in English, for example, yes, how to write a book in Spanish, for example, yes, and then translate, yeah, and it will be Como escribir un libro en español. It will be this way, really nice. And in Russian, it will be Как написать книгу в на испанском языке. It will be this way, and uh, it is different translations. And uh, in do German language, it will be another ways to say it. Okay, and uh, when you produced uh, your phrase you already kind of associated inside of your mind. I don't know how it works. I, th I think that it is all about our mind, how it works. Look, we remember all, all people in the world. Maybe remember if you are not Alzheimer or... Okay, I respect you. If, if you have some diseases that you maybe don't remember your childhood. But if you are kind of uh, in a like healthy state of your mind, then you remember everything from your childhood. In a healthy state of mind means that uh, you are kind of as average, as average in the meaning of mind. You remember what was in your childhood, some moments, some kind of parts. You remember when you was on a bike, maybe you were running from your brother, sister, or maybe with your father, or maybe mother, or maybe another siblings. You maybe remember some parts of your previous life. 
And the same when you do translation and when you write something, when you write in English or in Russian on translation page, then you are a writer already because you kind of write. A writer is who writes. Commercial successful writer is who creates bestsellers, yes? But a writer is who writes. And uh, for this reason, you kind of create associations inside of your mind that you are already a writer and you have more confidence in it. You kind of create, Jesus Christ, I'm becoming a god of writing. I'm be uh, I become better, better, better. Because one video, I, I created videos... I want to say that uh, one minute of a video, it is almost 80 words. 80 words is one video. It means I created 200, 225 videos right now in the current moment. Maybe more, maybe less. Uh, it is all about uh, numbers need to kind of update, update data. 225 videos I created in Spanish. And I created them by using 80 words in average. Okay, let's multiply 225 on 80. It means I created 18,000 words. If we multiply 225 on 80, okay? 18,000 words I created that are nice. Maybe they are kind of draft version, but to consider to your information, to kind of give you some information, the book, like, one moment, I will take it. It is Lord of the Rings, but, uh, okay, Lord of the Rings, it is almost maybe 100,000 words. But an average book in English literature, in uh, according to statistics on Google, contains 70,000 70, words. Do you understand it? 70,000 words, it means, like, we will do right now a little bit of mathematics, you produced 18,000, 1,800, okay? And you need to do this four times, four times, and it will be 72,000. 72,000. I imagine you kind of create videos, you learn language, and in the same time you create your own book. Two things in one. Why don't you use it? Or why, uh, why can you use it? And uh, I don't know how to... I, I, I like kind of positive things. So why don't you? It is kind of negative that. Why don't you use it, man? Huh? <laughs> like this way. Okay, it will be kind of jokes. Why don't you use it, guys? Yes? Need to start to do this. I think that it will be a good decision for you. Maybe. If you, are, if you want to learn Spanish or maybe German. Turkish, maybe it will be Chinese, Japanese, another. You translate and create videos. And also you will improve your kind of social skills. You also do sometimes gestures. You become more confident in producing sounds of your mouth. And maybe you will be more confident in speaking these topics in real life. Because I noticed one interesting thing through learning Spanish. When I do speaking in Spanish... And the same in English. If you are bilingual, you understand what I speak. Or you are polyglot, you understand what I speak. When you speak in different language, non-native, then you kind of create images, mental images inside of you, associations with something. I don't know how it works. It is kind of when you already have spoken about this topic in Spanish, then you will be more confident in speaking in it in English or maybe in Russian or another native language that you have or another language that you all kind of can have in the future. It is kind of association game because you have experience of doing it. And if you have experience of doing it, then the next time you will be more confident in doing this or related stuff. You will be confident more in a related stuff too. So, why should you do these things? Because you can improve your writing abilities, writing confidence, and also speaking confidence when you translate it and you read it and uh, produce to your audience on YouTube. How do I read it? I sometimes fully read it. Or sometimes I do kind of uh, picking words and then watching at words and then kind of look i imagine i read the greatest fantasy epic of our time kind of 
a little bit of watching, maybe more reading, 80% of reading and sometimes looking at it, peering kind of, uh-huh, okay, okay, and uh, you you maybe understand how, how it looks like, I don't know what's the name of, of it, what's the term to use to, to, to describe this process, but when you look and then you read, look, look, read without looking at it, firstly look, and then <laughs> produce, okay, you understand, and also what will you maybe get from it, you will have more audience, you will have more legacy on this world, and it is kind of legacy, it is a kind of a selfless and selfish thing in the same time, because you have legacy, it means that uh, you produce it because of you, and also you produce it because of the world, and you have the, the opportunity to kind of use it for your own purposes, and the world can use it for their purposes. It is amazing, like win-win situation for everybody in this world. And you create content on about, about something, maybe about books, about music, about uh, something, drawings, paintings, artworks, and uh, things of this nature, and then you become better in it, and uh, also what can you get from it? So maybe you will have fans that will join to your channel that you speak about books or these uh, things that I mentioned, or maybe you will, what, what will you get from it? You will get money, maybe, because uh, your channel could be monetized, but it is not like a from the first video, if uh, your video, for if your first video will not be successful, because if your video is uh, successful, then maybe you will open, you will be opened uh, with opportunity, y you will open an opportunity to your channel to earn money, and it means that uh, you can kind of grow also your empire around this. It is about kind of things that you can get. What, what society gets? They get your legacy, it means they can learn from it, they can be inspired from it, because any type of work that you produce is an inspiration to another people to do the same, or maybe related things to this. Or maybe things, yes, everything is related to everything. But uh, I mean that things maybe, oh, Jesus Christ, he's workouting. Like, uh, did you see one man, for example, you look at the streets, someone is running and you think, Jesus Christ, need to run to, need to do something, work out. I want to be healthy too. It is the same when you create your content, if your content is even super not nice, like, Oh, Jesus Christ, it's not uh, not really nice. You will you will do this and someone will look Jesus this Maybe German man or maybe Turkish man or maybe Indian man or maybe American man or a British girl is doing something and He's maybe not really nice at it, but he tries to do this. He attempts to do this It means that he wants to achieve these goals and uh, it will be inspiration for your audience and your potential audience and it means that you kind of produce value to them and also if your advice is really nice to your audience it was nice advices it mean it meaning kind of subjective again because uh, sometimes nice advice is only like yes you can it is a good advice but for someone will be good advice it it is kind of it is the structure, look, look at the structure, yes, I created the structure, need to do first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and that's all. For someone will be kind of only your smile, it is already inspiration, he will remember, oh, Jesus Christ, I remember my mom smiles this way, and it is kind of inspirational, really, I appreciate this man. Or maybe inspiration will be only your voice, because our voice is an instrument, vocal instrument, musical instrument, it means that uh, it produces sounds, and someone likes specific sounds, someone dislikes specific sounds in this world, uh, so, kind of, because, uh, you know, someone is this type of eating, yummy, yummy, and uh, you may be, no, no, stop it, stop it, some people can react to this, not everybody, but some people, and also the same with listening to some beautiful sounds of birds, we like to listen to birds, and maybe your voice is super like birds, and uh, people will, hmm, Jesus, amazing, <laughs> and now you have all the opportunities, let's go do this, I believe in you guys, and uh, you can you can always do this, how to do this, a list of things for you, need to, need to pick a language that you want to learn, or maybe some topic, then start writing, and that's all, translating, maybe you can pick a niche, 
for your channel or you can start even from today's day start from like <laughs> telling your story what was in your day or only say positive things it will be good like uh, it is happy birthday for your birth uh, for someone potential who has a birthday today for example today is 14th of june and you happy birthday all the people around the world who has today's a birthday for example really and it will be really positive you bring to them value because oh jesus someone created uh, someone random person created uh, something like celebration for me it is good it's cute it's uh, kind of uh, i feel warm inside of me and uh, that's all it is what i wanted to say and uh, i watch sometimes uh, at, i look at my i look at my content that i create sometimes that it is kind of useful and in the same time, I want to create more, because uh, I understand that uh, if some somebody is, uh, I, I wish to you something maybe what I have, maybe because I kind of project to you because I kind of want you to create something too. It is interesting to create things, and I think so, and I want to share it to you, like create, not only watch my videos, or yes, I. I I really respect that you watch my videos, but no need to watch every one of them or something like this. I really appreciate that you watch. But uh, in some moments, I really want to create more, 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 more videos. But I understand that some viewers maybe will watch every video of me. And I kind of feel, Jesus, do your things, do your life. It will be much better. I think so sometimes. Or if your dedication of, you, of your life to support me, if you dedicated your life, yes, I want to support Johnny Lovegood, okay, and I do support him, him. then okay, then it's okay, because uh, if uh, we will dive into our world, some people really dedicate their life to support maybe family members, maybe to support someone, to support a god, or maybe to support earth, like ecology, or support a specific woman, or maybe specific guy, or maybe to specific uh, types of people. Yes, we all kind of dedicate yourself to things sometimes. Sometimes dedication is kind of changing, but uh, if so, if you want to support, then okay. I really appreciate it. Thank you a lot. But I highly recommend to all kind of people who are not dedicated to my, ch to my, to my channel to, to do your own things, okay? It will be good. Thank you a lot. Thank you a lot, a million, and uh, have a wonderful day, Professor Dele. Go forward. You deserve everything in your life, and everything will be amazing. See you next time. You are a cool guy or girl.